And that seems to be, you know, it's kind of like my excuse for the day. My dog ate my homework. Is uh, some asshole stole my fucking car. Oh, you should be able to hear me now. Hi, recording. It's working. Good thing I still have a mirror. Ugh. You might be thinking like, oh my gosh, you lost a mirror? The fairings are all fucked up. We got a scratch here. Scratches here. What happened? Don't worry about that. That's uh, that's not this video. That's gonna come in a later video. Man, I wasn't even gonna be making a video on that. What happened to the bike? Till I got it all fixed. Since the uh, camera wasn't on. When I got hit, I got hit in the bike. That's pretty much all the detail. I'm gonna go into that. I got bigger problems than a fucked up bike. At least it still works. Got a lot bigger problems. The biggest one including this is my only way to get around now and for those of you that know me might be saying whoa don't you have a car what happened to your car oh well the funny thing about the car is uh, i left it i came home after a long day of work and school and uh i pulled my keys out of the car and i went home or i went inside and uh when my parents got home, they noticed my car was not there. So, somebody decided that they needed my car more than I did. So now I'm carless. Plus, uh, all my school books were in there, man. I had so much shit in my car that I need. I have all my, uh, I have my school books, which included uh, a book with all the logs of like the insurance guys that I've been talking to for, you know, the, uh, this is done, there we go, the guys I've been talking to for the insurance, the adjusters and all that, like all my little logs for myself, and, uh, the estimations for all this, that was, that paperwork was in there, you know, I was, well, there's a lot of sentimental things, my hat, I want my hat back, I got home at 3.30, and, uh, I went inside. My parents actually were already home and they left. Um, I want to say they left around like 5 and they came back around 6. And they thought I had left the house because I'll do that sometimes. Because I'm an adult. I go places, hang out with friends. Um, so when they noticed I was home, they said, where the hell is your car? And I was just freaking out, man. I called the cops. The cops showed up. We filed a report, put it in a stolen vehicle report. And... Uh, and then we rolled around looking for the car you know we went to the shitty areas and that's pretty much what i'm doing now i'm just doing another once over it was just so many fucking cars here dude this is i'm not gonna find it in here but this is we came down here this is this is Casher valley bar we went to Casher valley bar we went all through bay fair and don't learn the hard way like me take all your shit out of your car i could care less about the car if if the car was com like completely screwed up, if it was scrapped somehow, but I got all the shit out of it, I'd, I'd be fine with it. The, it's a, it was a Honda Accord 1994. Um, it had about 200,000 miles on it. I mean, you know, it's only a couple thousand, but it's just the shit I had inside the car is really what I want. But we all know that stuff's probably not gonna turn up. Dude, this thing got me, dude, I, I missed work today because of it. I had no way to get to work. The the bike, I didn't have it. The bike's at the shop, or it was at the shop. Um, it was just about to get started working on. All I had to do was confirm with the adjuster, with my insurance, that I'm good to go as far as damages and the cost of damages. So make sure the bike's not totaled. I don't think it is, but you never know. You never know what those guys are going to say. And that seems to be, you know, it's kind of like my excuse for the day. My dog ate my homework. Is uh, some asshole stole my fucking car. I rolled by work at uh, the time I, I, by the time I got to work, it was like five minutes till I usually clock out. And I leave early in the morning to go to school. So on school days on, on this day of the week. So uh, I got there. I just went into the boss's office. I'm like, hey, well, my car got stolen. So 
that's why I wasn't here and you know I should be here tomorrow and I'm pretty lucky my my boss and my all my co-workers at work they all pretty much they like me for the most part um because so I can get away with stuff like that they they understand it's here but fuck man dude I'm just you know two weeks ago it's about two weeks ago the bike got hit the bike's out of commission next thing I know my car's fucking gone like what the fuck man what the fuck it is just oh there's a cop coming down somewhere oh is this a funeral oh shit I don't know what these BMW cops are doing I don't think I should have gone through that stop sign yeah it's a funeral fuck I guess I thought I was having a shitty day. I could be attending a funeral or, or fucking, you know, a part of a funeral. Like, fuck, that's not cool, but... Fuck, man. This is not a good year. We got funerals and car thieves. That's what we got. A bunch of people dying and a bunch of thieves. I guess it's nothing new. It just really sucks when you're you're targeted, you know? Don't ever leave your shit in your car. Like, don't ever, don't ever get into that habit of like having like one thing that's, you know, everything. You gotta have backups. Like, fuck, dude, I really shouldn't have left my backpack in my car. Um, I should have had backup paperwork of that shit somewhere. You know, don't ever leave anything valuable in your car or like in a backpack unattended. You know, in a car, even in front of your fucking girl driveway apparently is unattended because the right motherfuckers will just catch you slipping they'll wait for the right time like it, it, this was not random this was not random they've got to have been staking this place out for a while to just because because we have our we have our habits and they came at just the right time in between the two there's another bit of information for you my car was on uh as far as insurance my car was only on liability and i'm not worried about that that doesn't bother me this bike was also a liability and that was fucking stupid don't ever get liability insurance on any vehicle that you care about um get full coverage or the most coverage you can get if you can afford it because your insurance won't fucking help you but uh i'm not gonna get too much into the bike crash shit that's gonna be for a different video this is going to be fun because I made a new channel, a uh, new YouTube channel, different name I like better. And uh, I'm prob this is probably going to be the first video up on that fucking channel. What are you doing? Uh, turn. You're just going to turn in here because you live here. You are something else. You know that? You are just something else. But uh, I mean, shit. That's what's going on with me. I got a broken ass bike. I got a, a stolen car, I don't know where the fuck it is. Probably somewhere out in Oakland. Um, all my shit in my car is gone. Um, and that's how my 2016 is going. Uh, if you guys want to stick around, uh, there should be more videos out. Um, you guys will be able to see the aftermath on all this shit. And how my 2016 goes later. I'm definitely gonna bring the GoPro with me uh, when I find the fucking car and document what happens and show all you guys. Cause all I'm doing right now, all I'm doing here is sitting here talking. I mean, I'll show you guys some stuff when I get some stuff to show. Anyway, I'm out of here for now. Uh, stay tuned to find out where the fuck my car is. I'm wondering the same thing.